ladies and gentlemen, to reaction and review. Yes, folks, we have finished turkeys from Turkey Month, and now it's just back to good old-fashioned fucked-up films. And, uh, <laughs> I have picked a real fucking doozy, guys. All right. I'm going to say this right now, I get tons of messages, guys, from people, and almost all of them go, Emmer, dude, you honestly were able to get through Boku no Pico, you were able to get through Salo, you were able to get through a Serbian film, and you were unfazed, but I know the movie that's going to make you violently ill. And upon reading those messages, I always have to ask them what film, and they all, and they all say the same thing. They all say, The Human Centipede. And that's what I'm watching tonight, folks. The Human Centipede. After dozens and dozens of requests, I'm finally going to do this one. Now, before I jump into this movie, I do want to mention one thing. The filmmakers, for some bizarre reason, always wanted to mention that this film is medically accurate. It is medically and scientifically accurate. The things done in this movie can be physically done to human beings and have it work. Anyone who knows the basic plot to this to this movie can pretty much tell you right now that that is a big steaming crock of dog shit. But I'm going to I'm going to mention that I think any time I feel that it has to be mentioned. Cuz see guys, the only thing I know about this movie is its premise. And I'm not going to spoil the premise for those who haven't seen it. If you're curious, just go over to the IMDB and look it up. So, I am done rambling here, guys. It's time for me to endure the human centipede. You know, folks, I actually am kind of happy. This film actually has a person shitting, and we don't have to see the shit. I'm kind of happy about that. In fact, hell, that actually is a breath of fresh air compared to everything else I've fucking watched. And the guy was just shot. Okay. This film is going to be a little bit different, I can tell. Okay, guys, I just... I just kind of sort of want to say this is probably one of the most... This is probably one of the most cliched things I've ever seen in a movie. We have two women who are pretty hot. They are in the middle of nowhere, and they just got a flat tire. You could probably you could probably spend an hour listing off horror movies and porno flicks that all that all use that sort of scene. Okay. I'm hoping that this film improves. All right, guys. I I know I said I wasn't going to spoil spoil the premise until it at least happens in the film. I hate these two women with a passion. Just listen to this. I cannot wait until their mouths are stitched shut. This film will improve greatly when these two bitches cannot speak. You know what, guys? Things had best start picking picking up quickly. Because so far this... Because so far I'm almost 20 minutes into this movie and I'm bored to tears. Listen, um, this thing is probably some of the worst pacing I've ever uh, seen. Service for us. We're just oh boy, guys, the film is finally going to pick up as our villain gets to give off a speech that would probably rival a Bond villain's in corniness. Why is it I have a feeling that this film is going to suck balls? You know, guys, it actually is sort of a bad thing when the only likable character in your film is the mad scientist. I just sort of thought I'd mention that. I actually find him a hell of a lot more likable than any other character who's appeared in this goddamn movie so far. You know, this scene is supposed to be, you know, chilling and suspenseful, but I'm just not feeling it. Perhaps maybe if I cared, maybe if I cared about this woman, and I actually would have, like, given, I would have, like, given a shit if she lives, dies, or gets stitched up, maybe, maybe this would mean something. But it, it doesn't. Okay, this actually is a little bit sick, but then again, I, I've always had a bit of an issue when it comes to 
having people's teeth physically ripped out, it always it always makes me a little bit uneasy. Kinda sick. Well folks, there it is. That is the that is the moment of fucking truth. We finally get to see this human centipede in action. I'm going to assume that this is where people are supposed to get grossed out. It's not doing anything for me. Oh, fun, folks. We have shit-eating again. All of a sudden, I kind of wish I was back doing god-awful Turkish fucking knockoffs. But no. Had to go back to the shit-eating. You know, I actually do wish that he had cut out their fucking vocal cords when he attached all three of them. He actually mentioned it earlier, I really wish he would just go and do it, because I hate listening to all three people involved in the human centipede. I really am just sick of hearing them. Okay, uh, I, I, I have to cry foul here a little bit. The operation was supposed to remove the kneecaps so that way they couldn't bend their legs at the friggin' knee. But yet the women are bending their legs at the knee as they're sitting there screaming. I understand that this was an indie film, but couldn't someone have thought of that when they were shooting? It just seems to, like, take me out of it a little bit. Okay, I believe I found another huge gaping plot hole here, and I could easily be fucking wrong here. Um, the centipede's having a hard time climbing up, climbing up a set of stairs. They've had now they have had to go up and down these stairs at least once because they started down, but now all of a sudden they're having an issue, and their stitches are popping. That's, uh, that actually is a little bit sick, but again, I've seen worse. And once again, we have a whole lot of knee, we have a whole lot of knee bending when they said very, very distinctly early on in, in, in the film that that shit ain't supposed to happen. Oh boy, guys, it's finally over. I don't think I've ever been happier to see closing credits roll on a goddamn movie. Let me shut this shit off. Oh, man. Well, guys, I just sat through the human centipede. And I'm going to say this right now. For everyone who told me that it was this nasty, graphic, gory film, you were wrong. In fact, I'm going to say this right now. For everyone who thinks that this film is this, you know, like, gross-out, nasty thing, no. Out of everything I've watched, which people have claimed to be a gross-out film, this one is probably the tamest. Alright? And that is saying a lot when you really think about it, that this thing is the tamest I've seen. Um, I'm going to say this right now. Uh, this film fails as a gross-out film, because there's nothing there that's really over... that's really, like, over... that's, like, overly gross, minus the basic concept, but... You can usually look past that within about two minutes. That, that honestly, is not even shocking. It's just sort of sick, okay? It fails as that. It fails as a horror film. Some people told me that that this thing is a horror, horror movie. It fails at that. It fails at being a psychological thriller. Some people told me it's supposed to be this, you know, like, psychological piece. It fails at that. It fails at being a thriller in general. This thing fails at just being, at just being an entertaining movie. There is no positives I can possibly, you know, scrape up from this, all right? There's nothing, all right? The characters are all just there. The only character who, who got any kind of characterization is Dr. fucking Hyder, and he's the villain. Okay? It's really sad when every single character is just there for the sake of being there, minus one guy. Okay? They claim that... they The filmmakers claim that this thing is scientifically accurate. Um, and 
actually they are partially right. If you take three people and you stitch them ass to mouth into a three-person chain, the third one is going to die because the third one isn't getting any sort of real nourishment. Then again, the second one isn't either, but I'm not going to split hairs on that. Okay? Now, uh, the... Now, the... Special effects. Again, this film is a little bit of a low-budget film. This thing was made for, I, I actually am looking at it right now, 1.5 million euros. All right? That's very, very little. That is roughly about a million dollars U.S., rough estimate. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just kind of sort of, you know, like ballpark in that because I know, I really don't know the, the, the real difference between, you know, U.S. dollars and euros. But I'm just going to assume it was a little bit of a low-budget flick. I could easily be wrong there. And if, any, if, if anyone wants to correct me on that, by all means, correct me. Um, so, I honestly am not going to grief them too much on having god-awful, pathetic-looking effects. Because, again, the budget wasn't there. At least I don't think that the budget was there. It could easily have been there, and I'm just, you know, and I'm just not seeing it. Um... The writing, holy shit. Again, guys, this actually sort of ties into the fact that every single character is there just for the sake of being there. And the fact that this movie has maybe a cast of about eight, eight people, they could have given at least a little bit of characterization to some of them. But no, we have two women, one Asian guy, a pervert, a pair, a pair of cops, a trucker, and Dr. Hyder. That's it. Okay? I literally just gave you the character, the, I just gave you the, the character summaries of the entire cast, plus Dr. Hyder, which I'm not going to go into all of his, well, actually his minimal depth, which they put in, but the fact that he was given minimal depth on his character, and he's the most developed, is saying a lot. It really, really is. Um, the, uh, the film, guys, this movie could have, at the very least, have been a movie that falls under the category of so bad it's good, but it fails even at that. This movie just sucks, plain and simple. It takes them, it takes them almost an hour to finally get it, to finally get it set up to, to where, to where you might care. It takes them one hour to get you set up to actually see this human, this human centipede, the movie's only 90 minutes long, guys. It takes them almost an hour to build up to build up to that when a decent filmmaker and a decent screen screenwriter could have gotten you to the centipede in about a half an hour. A competent writer could have could have gotten you there in half the time. And then they could have tried to, you know, they could have actually tried to add some more, you know, depth to these characters. But no, they didn't. However, though, even though, now, even though this, this film was a big, colossal, steaming pile of dog shit, at least I'm able to say that I have watched at least one movie from the Netherlands. So I can mark that one off on my giant-ass list of countries I want to watch films from. Honestly, guys, if anyone tells you you have to watch The Human Centipede, just tell them, no, I don't. The movie is a piece of shit. And the saddest part, guys, about all of this, saddest part, is they're making a sequel. Yeah. This god-awful, this god-awful excuse of a film is getting a sequel. And its big selling point? A ten-man centipede. Or rather, a ten-person centipede. Oh, fun. By the way, uh, I, I, I do want to discuss something here, because I, I know, I just know, that because I am harping on the film and I'm saying that it sucks, I have a feeling people are going to tell me that, that there is some kind of a message buried within this film. A lot of people told me that when I covered Salo. Well... I'm going to say the same thing to anyone who has a message about this film that I said about, about Salo. The film is basically a glorified excuse for gross-out moments, all right? Salo had, had, but had basically butt sex, shit-eating, and torture. This film has three people stitched ass to mouth in a three-person chain. 
What message do you have for that? Oh, wait, let me guess, let me guess. It has something to do with excess or gluttony, isn't it? It just probably is. No. Bullshit. This movie is just garbage. Plain and simple. And, uh... I'm happy that I'm done with it, because now I don't have to bother watching it again. Unless the sequel actually comes out and you guys want me to do that, but hopefully that won't be for a couple of years. So, with that we come to the close of this, of this reaction and review, and next week, guys, I'm going to do something a little bit special. Hang on a moment. I've got here a small stack of DVDs, guys. Uh, these are DVDs that have been sent in from the Amazon.com wish list, okay? Uh, actually, uh, one of these is actually just part of a box set, but I just thought I'd hold up one. Uh, I'm going to do one of these next week. Well, I'm not doing the one from, from the box set, because that's actually set up for a couple of theme months. Out of these, but out of these three, and possibly any others which come in between now and when I decide to film next week's episode, I'm going to do one of these. Well, probably not going to do this one either. I really don't want to do that one. I'm kind of loathing it. So, one of these two films is being done next week, uh, and the reason why I'm not showing you guys these spines is because I don't want to give it away. I just tilted this one. You might actually have picked up exactly on what it is. I might actually do this one because I'm really interested. But anyway, guys, I'm doing something off of off of the Amazon wish list. I do want to thank everyone who's been sending in DVDs, and uh, yeah. With that, folks, until next time, I take care, guys, and I'll see you all later. Peace.